Well, hello again, everybody. And I am back by popular demand. Uh, a couple of days ago, I put out uh, The Stupidity of Women, Beef Wellington, Dating Advice for Women. So I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna give you guys a couple more tips. And again, I know you can probably give me some tips too. But everybody want to know, what do you mean, Wellington, the stupidity of women? That's so insulting. It's not that I think women are stupid. It's just that sometimes during dating, they kind of do silly things. And uh, mostly that title is made up, so you'll click on this video. And it seemed to work. So there you go. Beast Tips for Dating, Version, Volume, Episode 2. So tip number four is don't ask the guy, what are you looking to find? What are you looking to find on here? So what do you want to find on here? I don't know. Uh, a shadow of a doubt? Uh, a needle in a haystack? I don't know. Something beyond the stars? Who knows? I mean, what are we all looking for? We're looking for somebody to connect with, somebody to come over and have fun with us, get in the hot tub, I don't know, whatever. I mean, basically guys are looking for as much as they can get uh, with as little effort as possible. I know that's a terrible thing to say. Oh my gosh, did he say that? I can't believe he said that. Yes, we are, okay? It's, it's like, you know, women give the sex to get the love and men give the love to get the sex. That's how it works. Sorry, okay? So what are we looking for? How about anything we can get? That's pretty much what we're looking for. I mean, it's funny. I'm not sure if you've ever seen that Steve Martin movie where he's a the perennial bachelor. Like he just he can't get uh, he can't get a girl. And women ask guys that question so they can match to see if you're looking for the same thing they're looking for. But they don't have to say it first. That's why they ask. So in that movie with Steve Martin, he's sitting at a bar, you know, and he thought he would go the other direction, like zig when somebody else is zagging, right? So he sits there, and this smoking hot girl comes and sits down next to him, and she goes, "So what are you looking for?" Okay, again, a test question. And he goes, you know, I just want to find somebody to connect with and have a conversation and really, you know, bond at the, the mental and emotional level, <laughs> level. And she goes, oh, well, I'm just looking to get laid and walks away. I'm like, oh. see, that's what, we, that's what we have to deal with, ladies, is that kind of hoop jumping throw. Don't ask a guy what he's looking for. Here's his answer. Anything he can get. So tip number five. Ladies, get a clue, will you? Don't pose in a picture with a woman who's hotter than you are. I mean, you ever see that movie with Rodney Dangerfield, Back to School, and he has a, 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 a bunch of tall and fat stores, or tall and, you know, big and tall stores is what he's got, right? And he goes, hey, if you want to look thin, hang out with fat people. And then he's watching the commercial, and he asks his buddy, did I look fat in that commercial? And his buddy goes, yeah, you could lose a few. And he goes, I gotta get bigger actors. Look, if you want to look pretty, don't pose next to somebody who's prettier than you. You wonder why I don't pose in a picture with my son? Because my son has a fantastically handsome face. That's why I don't do it, because compared to him, I'm ugly. I'm ugly anyway, but that just makes it worse. So, it's tip number... He's hotter. What? It's because he's hotter. He's hotter. See, my daughter just said that my son is hotter. Everybody knows this, so that's why he's not in a picture with me on my dating profile. There she is. What do you think? Will you, will you get out of the camera? All right, anyway, so don't pose in a picture with a girl prettier than you. T uh, tip number six... Bikini pictures are the bomb. I know. Oh, that's such a chauvinist thing to say, Wellington, you pig. Yeah, pretty much, okay? But I got... <laughs> my, my daughter loves this. Okay? Yeah, I know, but I got news for you. I know you think you're fat. You're not. There's no such thing as a moped anymore. There isn't, okay? I got news for you. All you women goes, oh, I don't look good in a bikini. Yes, you do. To us, you do. I don't care if you are thin or fat or medium or tall or short. Bikinis are the bomb. Put a bikini picture in there. Just do it. There's no such thing as a moped anymore. It used to be a, a moped girl is a girl you want to ride, but you wouldn't want your friends to see. There's no such thing anymore, okay? We want to ride you, and you want to know what? Because everybody else does too. So there's no such thing anymore. You're beautiful. You're awesome. Put in a picture that shows your body off and you'll get more clicks. Once again, people say, Wellington, what do you do for a living? I am a real estate trainer. If you want this kind of honesty and this kind of hard, hard-nosed, real-world, actual tools and techniques to help your real estate business, if you're a real estate agent, a realtor, manager, or anything else like that, go to The Career Compass and you will get tools and techniques that are this honest for your real estate business. And boy, they come at you. Fast and Furious, we have over 112 different techniques to help realtors make money and beat the iBuyers, beat your competition, and have more closings and make more money. We'll see you at thecareercompass.com. Take care, everybody. Bye. Bye.